Hello and welcome back to Xanthus Gaming. This is Bullet Heaven Quick Looks. Today we're going to be looking at a game called Free Fight. Free Fight. Um, it is a Bullet Heaven with traditional character unlocks. So there are various different characters that you can unlock throughout. There's also a meta progression system within it through the upgrade tree. One downside to this is there is a use real money to buy meta progression thing. Um, that said, you do cap out at a certain point. I have about six hours worth in six hours into a game i've got about half the mega progression done so you know 15 10 15 hours you can unlock it without having to pay anything this is just a way you can support the game uh still not a big fan of pay to win um but it does not seem that it's at an unreasonable rate so i guess i'm okay with it um kind of wish it wasn't there but wish there's a donate button instead but you know whatever it is what it is um all right it has standard bullet heaven combat there's no like special dashes or unique twists or anything like that on it um, but there are different unique weapons per character um these do not evolve um but they do hit a cap at a certain point so um there are some pretty interesting mechanics on some of them. For instance, the Toad, he can't move regular. You have to choose a target spot for him to hop to, and it's a time-based hop, so that's interesting. Haven't unlocked the Wizard yet. That's actually my next thing to unlock, so let's go and unlock that. Um, but I don't know what that portal is. I guess we'll just hit play for a second and see. Can he go through? Okay, so he can teleport through it to other places. That's actually really, really interesting. Um, but yeah, so there's different mechanics for different characters, different weapons. That's kind of cool and unique. Um, one thing that's really interesting in the game is that the shops are upgradable. Um, so if you're playing through and you get to a shop point, you can buy more shop slots. I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. So each round is timed. Instead of having experience to determine your level, there's a, there's a timer for each round at the end of each round. However much gold you picked up, that's what you can spend in your shop. That's another unique feature. You have your basic three choices to start, but you can expand the shop by adding additional items. So the next time I pop in, there will be four choices instead of three, which is kind of cool. You can also get an infinite number of weapons. Um, I tend to focus on three or four at a time, but you could spread it out a whole lot more if you wanted to. Some weapons have an upper limit. Some items have an upper limit. Some do not. The flail, for instance, I upgraded, I think it was like 21 times. So it ended up being very strong in my uh, Thor lightning run. Um, some of them cap out. For instance, the soul collector caps out at 10. Cooldown reduction counts out, caps out at 10. Um, some of them just have natural capping points. They also have on some of them unique recipes. Um, and you can find out exactly what those recipes are within the item list in the game. It's kind of nice that it doesn't have it hidden anywhere. Uh, it's another unique feature of this game. Um, so you can see if I upgrade the armor five times, I'll get thorns. I can continue upgrading that armor beyond five times, but if I do that, I'll get thorns on my armor. Um, similarly on the running boots, if I upgrade it three times, then mobs will continue to burn until they die, basically. It's kind of neat. The explosives will double explode, so when enemies die on death, they blow up, and then with the evolution at five times, they'll blow up twice. Uh, so this one is mandatory for every run, in my opinion. Um, circle power, this will not only multiply your damage by like 250%, but it also gives you extra armor and damage for standing in the center of the circle that spawns in the center of the map. It's extremely good. Um, so but you can kind of scroll through and see all the different things that you can evolve throughout the game. There's not a ton of them. I'm hoping they add more over time. Um, but there's enough variety that it's fun for a while. I'd say it's a good 30, 40 hour game. So um, there's a decent amount of variety in the system. And there is also an achievement system built in um, straight into the menu. Of course, you can always view your achievements through Steam as well. Um, but there is a built in achievement thing within the game, too, which is kind of fun. Within the game, it says four unique bosses. I think that's a mistake. I believe it's supposed to be three. My bad, guys. Every time you go through 10 rounds, you fight a boss. So I'll show you what that looks like in just a moment here. Um, and you kind of progress your character to be exponentially more absurd. Eventually, you're going to hit a point where you can no longer survive. They just get too tough and beat you. Around level 51, 52-ish is where I'm tending to find that, that point is. But, you know, um, as I get more micro or account progression um through the uh this system my brain just went completely dead um i'm sure i'll be able to push it a little bit further i could just buy use a microtransaction buy it all and see but i'd rather grind it out and experience the game you know so 
anyway i'll show you what some of the bosses look like and then you guys will be all set and up to speed on free fight all right so here's one of the bosses this is the first boss i'm on a really bad run um this uh trying out this chick for the first time it's not going very well um, I don't even know if I can beat the first boss, but same kind of mechanics for all three, or well, for the first two. Uh, both of them have a thing where they throw stuff at you and then charge you. And then the third one is a lava boss, and he actually has a bunch of adds inside him to start. And then he splits off a bunch of adds from his body um, that chase you around. So it's a little bit of a different mechanic there. The second boss also has a ton of adds on the right hand side to start, so it can help you stack up your soul catcher. If your build relies on soul capture which this one does at the moment because i haven't found any real good weapon upgrades um so yeah slightly different mechanics not massively different but yeah i wasn't able to beat that that's sad and pathetic um but yeah so that's kind of how that goes let me show you a little bit of gameplay at a higher level here so you can see how crazy it gets once you get progressed into the game so here you can kind of see what it looks like when you're around wave 49. I wish I would have recorded the boss here, but this was a really good run. I had these blue things spiraling out in all directions around me. These white balls would hit enemies and then fracture into sub things. His base weapon is this blue zappy thing that just bounces between enemies. I also had a lightning that procs off any damage. So not only do the blue zappy things do damage, but they also proc lightning that does damage. Same with these. Um, it just ends up being crazy. So you can kind of see how that looks. Um, so yeah, it gets, it gets pretty nuts. Um, you get pretty out of control powerful, but you know, like no matter how out of control powerful you get, um, there comes a certain point where you just start to get overwhelmed and the enemies scale faster than you do and you get minus armor for each round. Um, so eventually you get to a point where you just get killed really quickly. So here's where I died on that run on wave 51 after I killed the boss, like almost instantly, a single mob hit me and I was just dead, even though I had 11 ranks into armor, you know, um, it just, it kind of has a self-limiting factor at a certain point. Oh, I guess I got hit once before that on the previous round, but, um, you, you can get the idea. Um, you just get overwhelmed at some point. Um, but yeah, I mean, I survived 50 waves. That's pretty crazy. It's a fun game. You guys should definitely check it out if you haven't already. Um, and there's a free demo of it right now, which is what I've played. It's not actually officially released. Once it is, I'm sure there'll be more content. But if you like this video and you like this kind of format and you want me to do more, like, favorite, share, subscribe, comment down below, and we'll see you guys in the next video. I'm going to try to keep them relatively short and sweet like this.